All right, guys, it's MMA Wrestling Wednesdays. I come in, I teach a class, I show some good technique. We got some guys fighting coming up soon. Apex, um, big fights, Dana White Contender Series, so we gotta get these guys ready. We wanna give them a little bit of a grinding workout at the end, depending on how their bodies are feeling. But right now, they're pretty far out, so we wanna make these sort of getting these guys in shape. Going through these positions, top, bottom, breaking the escapes, defending single legs, and run, just knowing how to understand the position so you can transition after that, so you can land some good moves and get the dub, baby. That's what it's about. Let's get these freaking dubs, bro. Let's go. Just in the drill, partner's gonna throw an overhand into the single, overhand? Right hook, right hook. Right hook into the single leg. So we're controlling the distance. Now the main thing is not getting low to sleep by this lead hand, then throwing all this. Touch, touch, then pull, pull. So we gotta make sure that we're, our eyes are ready to go. So when he does throw this hook, we're protected. He goes to the shot. We're ready to go. Now this leg, right away, I can't let him keep this leg inside so he can trip me and all kinds of other stuff. This leg instantly goes to the outside. I'm gonna knee shield, push into him, wide face, right here. Go wide, head position, looking for his hands, breaking the fingers. Not the wrist, the fingertips are always gonna be the easiest thing to break. Now once we're in here, look, I'm leaning on him. I got my short shots here, shots here. I can snap him down to a front head lock. I got my face. I got a whole bunch of different options. Ended up on top. Sweating out all the poison. Trying to get all that trash out of my system now, you know? Good work going with these guys. I didn't even go the whole time. I jumped in, I took like two rounds off. So, you know, nice and easy. We're getting ready. We're rebuilding, we're priming ourselves. Not going too crazy right out of the gate. That's how you get injured. You know, I've been on vacation, enjoying the fruits of the labor. Now we're back in the game, man. Back in action. It's really just easing my way back into it because we do a lot of work beforehand and to come out, like, like I said, coming right out of the gate, you can't go too crazy. Uh, you got to know the partners you're going with because at this point, you know, we're playing for keeps and we're trying not to get injured. We're trying to get to another fight. So we got to slowly build the engine. You want to rev your car that was sitting in the, in the, in the garage all went along and as soon as something comes along, you just start revving the engine. You got to oil her, you got to prime her, you got to get her, get her nice and moist. You know, prime the engine a little bit. Let her know daddy's home. And uh, that's what I'm doing, reminding everybody that daddy's home. <laughs> so at the beginning of training camp, well, this is not even really training camp, this is getting ready for a training camp. Just trying to slowly ease my way back into it, going easier rounds, not like a crazy, ridiculous pace, not turning and twisting my body in positions that I haven't done in a long time. That's how injuries happen. So just making sure I, I treat my body the right way. This is a Ferrari, it's not a Prius. Even though Priuses are reliable, Ferrari, everybody wants that Ferrari. So I gotta get my body back to that Ferrari state and uh, this is how we do it. Slow and steady wins the race, you know? Trust the process. We're coming back, I think September, we're coming for you. Today is Thursday night sparring day, open mat. Where a lot of people get crazy and you never know what's gonna happen. Dun, dun, dun. Gonna teach a little bit, do a little technique and then Get the guys warmed up to do a couple of five minute rounds, probably get like six or seven in, and that would be the day. Lungs need a little bit of work. It's time to start dialing this shit back in. I should be able to do at least two rounds, no problem. Which, you know, these three minute rounds, so I did a good amount straight, but these are fives to be a little bit more exhausting. But with the takedowns, I can at least rest positions, beat the opponent up, carry my heavy weight, my welterweight weight. weight.
I'm done for the day. These guys still got about three more rounds, but I put my work in for the day. I'm good. Slow and steady. I don't need to kill the engine and start over revving it, you know? So I got my work in. Try to work the lungs a little bit. Try not to puke. I managed to save myself. More up didn't let me take a round off, so came after me. I was just like, one good takedown, I could chill a little bit. Save my energy, scramble. Save my energy, scramble, strike. Shout out Marshall Emu. You guys are the realest out there. Keep supporting the fighters. Let's go, baby. All day to the top. Guys, I've been to this place so many freaking times, guys. So many times, like so many times. Kadoba, Hempstead Turnpike, East Meadow. We're about to go get some food here. Just finished training, just finished some sparring. I'm about to get some food, refill the body, and show you guys what I eat when I'm trying to lean out and get a little bit cleaner. Chicken, rice, all that good stuff. Pico de gallo, and I do get the queso. Queso Diablo, spicy, baby. So I got a chicken bowl, guacamole, cilantro, lettuce, cheese, some fajitas, chicken, brown rice, black beans, so some extra protein, and some pico de gallo, and some spicy Diablo queso. The reason why I get some of this stuff is, one, because I like it, it tastes good, but I always gotta have my essentials, protein, carbs, some fats, and uh, I get my sweets always, my chocolate chip, cookie because I always like to get things that I actually like I can't just have a serious diet all the time I gotta live life a little bit if this sport was so serious where I couldn't eat the things that I actually enjoy onions and all that stuff and chicken rice I wouldn't do it or I go up with like two weight classes for some people out there they think they gotta be super strict with everything it's all about calories in calories out how much you burn during your training session so you keep that in mind you can make choices based on that it makes it a lot easier to pick the type of foods you can eat and the type of luxuries you can enjoy throughout the day.